Well, I have C. Reggie Rogers with me, which when I think of Reggie Rogers, I think of the RR, and the RR is Rolls Royce. Or, so, or rest and relaxation. Rest and relaxation. <laughs> <laughs> On my last guest, I happen to say that Vegas Live with Ninon has become a dating place. Now, you actually are in that business. I uh, am. Yeah. Which I think is quite ironic because now you've just flown in from where? Um, this whole week I've been gone. I was in uh, Atlanta, Macon, and I just flew in from Tulsa. You just flew in from Tulsa to come on Vegas Live yes. with Ninon. So I'm very, very honored to have you on. See, Rogers, the pleasure amazing, is all mine. isn't he? So we're going to be talking about dating. Now, dating, you know, is um, in, in, a, in Vegas, dating is very, very different. I don't know if you know that. Um, there's seven women to one guy here, apparently. I don't know if you know this. Well, that's, an, that's an epidemic across the country, though. Not just Vegas, per se. That's, oh! that's, a, that's an epidemic in... So we've got more women in the world than men. Studies show that, that it's not going to get better. It's not going to get better. It's going to get worse. So women, you're going to start having boys. <laughs> we need more boys. <laughs> <laughs> got to procreate a little bit more. <laughs> I want a boy. I want a boy. It's going to be a boy. You know, and triplets come out, all girls. <laughs> and, and ironically, my parents have five boys. Oh, really? I'm the youngest of five. You're the youngest of five boys? Yes. I'm in the middle. I have a, a sister and a brother older, then I have two brothers younger. So my mom did her thing with the boys. And you're in the middle? I'm right in the middle. Well, oh, we're not going to talk about that middle child. We could have oh, a discussion oh, on that. But we a whole discussion. What happens with the middle child? She doesn't fit hair and doesn't fit there. And they say the middle child is uh, typically trying to find their way. They're a little confused because I'm they are trying to find uh, my way. <laughs> no, I've had a very, very good life. And, then the, and I had an amazing marriage. Awesome. Yeah, I was, awesome. Uh, I'm not going to say 24 hours a day was happy all the time. We, yeah. You know, everybody yeah. has their thing. But on a 1 to 10, it's definitely a 10. So he was a lucky man, and you were a lucky woman. Now, so we had two lucky you people. You got it. I'm glad you said he was lucky and, and I was lucky, because we were both lucky. So this dating game, what's going on with the dating game? Because I think well, women are dating less than they ever were before. Well, I don't think that... I don't like to look at it as a dating game. I like to look at it as their strategies to dating. So I don't oh, want to make so it a dating different. game. So because because my premise is I teach that the basis of all relationships is self. Okay. If you got to have a great relationship with, with yourself. yourself. If you don't That's have a great friend. relationship if with you yourself, don't like you, then you're not going to like anyone else. No. So it, all, it starts with no. you first. That's See? important. I always say, go to your bedroom, sit on the bed, because the bedroom is the quietest place, I think. Yeah. And you sit there, and you don't have to think of anything. You can meditate, you can do anything you want, just sit there. It's just you, just you and the universe. And let the universe work its magic. Do, do women realize how much they truly have in this world? Because I know a lot of women sort of, you know, want to take on this man, this man role. And I disagree with it, totally, okay. because I think a woman has so much. I agree with you 100%. One of the things that I try to um, get women to understand, that the journey to love is not really about finding the one. No. The journey to love is about becoming the one. So if you become what you want, what you want will come to you. Come to you. But here's the, here's the other flip What's side the of that. Is, the, flip, the flip side of that is um, women should never look for him. He should find them. But when he finds them, then a woman, should, a woman should be ready, know how to recognize, and know how to receive. That's funny because all those things I had exactly with my husband. I knew I was going to marry him before I really started dating him. And that was because his last name was De Rosa. So I became Ninon Devere De Rosa. And I thought, what a great that name is a great that name. is. <laughs> I said, I'm going to marry that name. guy. And I knew that he was just going through a divorce. And he, I said, I'm not marrying you while you're going through a divorce because that divorce might never happen. So I'm not getting my traps off, trapped in that. So he came back to me after he got the divorce. And that was, you know, from then on, it, 29 years. You just gave me an idea. Well, uh, what's maybe, the idea? Maybe I should start matching people based off of the male's last name. So, Wouldn't that be great? Sarah, and what's your last name? Sarah Vaughn. <laughs> See, we match them based off of... <laughs> Sarah Vaughn. See, Nino Devere, and I remember I was very sick in bed, and I was like, I had this temperature of 105, I used to get very sick in January. 
and I had this time when I was lying in bed, I thought, I've got to see this guy, so I called him, I said, I can't see you. Well, he said, I'll come over and see you, and I thought, if I don't say yes, I'll never see him again because he was a shy type of guy. Okay. And and he did, he came over with his great big sandwiches and everything for me, which was the last thing I wanted to do was eat. But at the same time, I knew then, when I was lying in bed, that I was going to marry this guy. Yes. And then, so you're absolutely right when you... Recognition. So what is the secret that women or men, I, you know, and you're right, a man looks at a woman and he knows that's the one. How does that happen? Um, I think that that, the work begins prior to the meeting because we should we should have deal makers deal breakers and non-negotiables so when we understand what our deal makers are what our deal breakers are and what our non-negotiables are then the strategy is there's five stages to dating god i thought it was only one no there's five <laughs> right, stages. here we go so the, what are the five stages the first stage is a meet and greet Okay. So we're not actually dating. We're no. going on a meeting. We're saying week. hello. We're saying hello. We want to get to know each other. It's kind of like, like a, it's other. an interview. Yes. Because when you <laughs> when you work a job or when you're going for employment, you go for an interview. You go for an interview. First. What's the objective? The objective is to make sure you are a fit for the company. Yes. They know what they know what the profile is. They know what they're looking for, and they ask all the questions to fit Same the as profile. Same woman or whomever. Yes. Because now we're in different things of. You know, women marrying women and men marrying men, and so it's a whole different thing of different marriages. So you have to recognize where you're going. Know your profile. What you want. Know what the profile is. Know what is. the profile is. I'm glad you said that. And so, and then go on. Okay. So you know what the fit is. So that's the first stage, meet and greet. Meet and Second greet. stage now is after we get past the meet and greet, we we decipher or determine does it warrant a date. Well, I just did that, and it didn't warrant a date. <laughs> I just so, did that. I just did that with a guy. I won't say his name because he's probably watching the show. <laughs> it just happened to me. He didn't even warrant a kiss. Wow. So we had dinner, and then we said goodbye. Well, but, I said goodbye. But but you know how important that is. Well, it was to me. It was. This is very important because time is our biggest commodity. Yes. Once time is wasted, we can't get it back. Correct. Right. So if it's time. not a fit, you don't want anybody that's going to waste your time, or you don't want to waste, waste their time. I was more not wasting his time. That's right. Because I could play along. You know, that's when right. you do that, they play along. That's right. You know. Your next move has so to be your best move. Your next, okay. So if it's not your best move, it's not your next okay, move. Okay. So the levels, that's number two. Number three. Difference. That's the difference stage. The differences, because now we're we're going through dating, and now we are getting to that place of understanding what our differences are that's the make or break stage because now we 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 find out you know because in the day in the dating stage we wanted or in the meet and greet stage we wanted to determine were there any commonalities were there was there a connection was there chemistry so now we moved into the dating dating aspect okay we see there is some commonalities there's some chemistry and, and there's a connection cool. and so now we're now getting to the place of differences this is when you determine it's going to be the make or break because we have a different approach to how we look at approach. sex we have approach. a different approach to communication yes. no. we have different approach to certain things uh, so we absolutely. need to see if we can yes. mesh that yes. and make that blend okay. if we can get past that stage then the next stage would be independence versus interdependence explain that one well You've, you've been single for so long, you got used, you got used, to, be an indep you got used to being independent. Yeah. So now how do we mesh your independence so that we bring it together to have some interdependence? Yeah, that's hard. That's a hard piece. But that's it's not very, it's not impossible. It's not impo well, nothing's no. impossible in this world. Uh, yeah. No, nothing's impossible. So, what's the next one? That's the, that's ne the next one is, after you've got past stage oh, one, stage two, it's the healthy dating stage. Now you're ready to go. Now you're well, ready to you're actually ready to see if this bring thing it all together. Kind of works. Yes. So I, I, what I'm, the message I get out of this from you is don't rush into it. Find out exactly and don't waste your time and don't waste their time. Yes. Because wasting people's time is not really very nice, sure. whether the man or the, or, the, or the woman. Because people think intimacy is the wherewithal. That's it. It's not. Intimacy comes from two words. It comes from in time. So don't be so quick to rush to be intimate. It takes time. I, yeah, you don't I think really want to know time. anyone. You don't yeah. really know the person. I think, I think it's still got the, the old thing about a man likes a woman to wait a little bit anyway. Because if, she if she rushes into having an affair, did she do this with somebody else before? I think that's how a man, and that is still to this day. 
Um, people tell me it's not, but I think it still is. That, that is a question that will uh, enter a man's mental psyche. Yeah, because he likes to kind of have that woman of his, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. It's kind of his, like, she's never been touched by a man ever before. Look, probably not true, but as long as he started dating her, he wants that to remain his. He wants it to remain it. And another secret that a lot of women don't know. All right, let's have the secret. Here's a secret that a lot of women don't know. A man really is not concerned about being loved. Women want to be loved. A man want to be a man wants to be respected. Interesting. Admired and respected. Women want to be loved. Why? Women are emotionally driven. Men are ego driven. So we want to be respected and admired. So they want to be respected because actually when you walk outside, well it used to be like this, walk outside the front door, you were the one that would go and make the money for the rent, to pay the car, to feed the children, to send them to school, to buy the clothes and to do the whole house thing. Yes. And that was his responsibility. And and he was to be respected for that because yes. that is what he's supposed to do. Yes. And then the woman, when the man comes home, wants to be kissed and hugged and I missed you. and. You know, and to, to achieve that, a woman will make dinner or she'll do something to give her love back to him for what he's done during the day. I don't know if that's what it is this day and age. I don't think it's as much, is it? It's not as much, but the principle remains. Principles, principles never that. change. Principles are constant. Okay. So they never change. I'll give you another secret. Okay. Since we're, secret. Since, since we're giving the secrets. The women want secrets. So, so my thing is, my thing is... I'm an advocate for the women, so I say that I'm the voice, I'm the conscious male voice for women. Okay. I want women to get a cl clear understanding of what goes on in the man's mind and in the man's heart. Okay. So another secret is, a woman can get a man to do anything in the world she wants him to. Steve, I want you to listen to this. <laughs> a woman can get a man to do anything in the world she wants him to, based off of how she packages it. Oh. So now we're in the packaging business. So here's how it is. Very simple. So. Let's say the man is not in the habit of making up his bed. If she says, every morning you wake up, I'm getting so sick and tired, you never make up the bed, oh, you need to start that's making up your bed. Hat. That you should never do. Okay. I don't but even it know happens. the answer. It, totally it happens all the time. Totally oh, he happens. didn't take the garbage out. The yep. poor guy he's so never gonna, in the house. He's never going to do it his, his, because he's going to go on a defense. Yep. Because a man is a warrior. So automatically he's going to do it and he's never going to do it. But now if she says, hey, baby, you know, you're so sexy to me when I see you pull up the sheets, your biceps, your triceps come up. It just turns me on. I think it's the most gorgeous thing in the world. He will make up the bed every, every morning. morning. <laughs> you see how you packaged it? Oh, you make it together. You make the bed together. Oh, uh, baby, I would love to start doing this with you. Can we do this together? I just feel it's such an intimate thing. Package. That means Communication. You have, that means you don't have to keep running around the bed too, because if you both do you're on both sides, so you can, it takes five minutes. Teamwork to... makes the dream work. <laughs> so that's interesting, but I do know that a lot of men, when they come home, um, the woman nearly lays into him. You know, like the poor guy's just probably had a terrible day. Rather than acknowledging him to come home and and to be nice, and wouldn't that make a woman and a man's life better? Totally. Communication is tantamount, is paramount. And and to be able to understand the key essence of communication takes it to a whole nother level. Because, you know, I tell people all the time, communication comes from the word communion. But communion comes from the word, two words, common union. We have to get to that place of understanding what's our common union. That's where we meet, our common denominator. So what's our breakdown now? Our breakdown, because we don't seem to have as many marriages, and when we do, they last two years. What's uh, the breakdown? There's, there's, a, there's a lot of choices now. There were choices now that you have that you didn't have in the 20th century. The 21st, the 21st century presents so many choices. Uh, so I think, you know, the common denominator is know what's a fit for you, know what you want, and then there are... I'm actually doing a thing right now on my radio show. You have this a radio month, show? I do. Oh, okay. This, Let's month, talk about your radio this show. month's radio show, the topic is what is the glue that keeps it together? And the consistency that I'm getting on the show, I'm speaking with men who. I think are, that would be Amazon glue. <laughs> that would be something real. Gorilla. It's the gorilla, gorilla glue. Oh, yeah. Gorilla glue, glue <laughs> would be the real sticky stuff. You know, it kind of, you can't, can't. We need that. You need that adhesive that keeps it all together and I, the consistent answers that I'm getting from these men who are high-powered men who've been married for a long length of time and they still like they just met yesterday 
is communication, respect, I think and they're respect still is a attractive big thing. to them. They're still attractive. Yeah, let the woman, please, please, women, please look good at times. Sometimes, not all they have to do it all the time, but please look good sometimes. Because I see these women, they get married and then they. I don't know, the hair goes who with they don't put makeup on and they get they get a little bit of weight on and they flip flops and short jeans and and then you've got the men this is abs I don't I can't stand this look for a man. Whoever wants to see a man's legs, good luck. When men start wearing these shorts and these white socks that come up and tennis shoes, believe me, this is one of the ugliest looks a man could ever, ever have. Do you agree? You don't like that look? Oh, no, it's not, it's not a look for me. It's not my fit. No, you know. no, no. But it's, it's a look that, that it, no, it belongs in a place. Uh, you know, if you're going to go to the beach or, you're, uh, you know, it's the summer and you're going for a hike, yes. But not all day, every day. I think it's the worst. See, men's legs are not the most glamorous things in the world. Well, I, it's not my look, so I can't relate to that because I feel, I feel like, you know, I want to always look my best What's for whomever my mate is. I try to stay as GQ as possible, as much as possible. GQ, you know what that means, don't you? I'm not going to tell you. You've got to find out. You can find that out on the internet. Right? But, no, I think it's very important for a man to look good, feel good, and, uh, when a man and looks clean. Good, when, a man, when a man looks good, he feels good. And when yes. he feels good, he feels like he's going to be able to embrace whatever comes his way. Which, whichever it is, whichever yes. sexual partner whatever. he wants does not make any difference in this world right now. Yeah. It's never made a difference to me because I've always been very open. I'm very open with I'm very open with the whole world actually. Extremely open with who people are, what they are, the language they call, the colour they are. It doesn't make any difference. We're all human beings. Yes. None of us, not one of us in this world have ever asked to be born in a certain place or a certain way or a certain colour. None of us. We are all born how we are born. And you just have to receive it. I, lo I love your receive thought. I love it. your thought process because I'm like that too. I don't. F I think that if, if we base it off of colors, I think sometimes you can find yourself in a deficit. It shouldn't be based off of anything. It shouldn't be based but off the, anything. The, the person. And so that's my my book that I have out is all oh, about that. Okay. So my book is called Love at First Spirit. Oh, I and like what, that. What Love at First Spirit is all about is getting a getting a woman to a place of seeing through a man to get to a man. Because it's not about what the man drives, where he works, any of that. Is that is, a little is, bit is of chemistry? Minimized? Is that a little... Well, you know, no, because... What is this chemistry thing? I mean, I can see a guy, he could be married, he could be anything. I, and I have this chemistry. And then I find out maybe he's married and, yeah. and I have to get rid of that because I would not date a married man. I would not do that. So, I, what is this chemistry see, thing? I don't do you build, know what it yeah, is? Yeah, I don't build relationships off of chemistry. I teach... But what if you I, have but, chemistry? But, no, I, but here's the deal. It. Listen, I teach... You should build off of a connection, and well, I think when there's but, a connection, no, because when there's a connection, a connection, a chemistry becomes a byproduct of the connection. Here, for example, Learning something. for example, um, how many times have you heard someone say, "Oh my God, we have so much chemistry"? Oh, everybody says, everybody exactly. says that. Now, now let's yeah, go here. But sometimes they don't. They they say that to make it happen. Does necessary? They do have that. But they say it often. So yes, my point do. is, you can have chemistry with multiple people, but the fact of the matter is, you are not going to be connected to everyone. No. How many times have you heard That's somebody say, Oh my God, we have such a connection. You hear chemistry. So that's what I'm trying to tell you. Yes. Look for the connection, so and the then connection chemistry, chemistry will become the yes. byproduct. So it should be connection first, then chemistry. Yes. And, and here's the thing. I just did Actually, that was what I had with my husband. You had a connection. Oh, 100%. And it made a big difference, right? Well, I guess it did because he passed away. So, you know, I didn't, you know, it was there. It was just... And connection is something that you can't conjure up. You can't mix it up. It's either there or, or it's it isn't. not there. Okay, women and men, it's either there or not there. When you're trying to make it happen, it's like when you're trying to make anything happen, regardless of men and women, but when you try to make something happen and you keep trying and trying, it's just not working. It's not going to work. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. If the shoe because doesn't fit, don't you wear, can't it. wear it. <laughs> you can't make something happen. This is what I tell you. You can't make anything happen because the universe is such a master choreographer. It's all about being in alignment. And when you're in alignment, it'll just happen. Absolutely. And you're just a part of what's happening because you can't make it happen. Okay, on that, we have to close down. I'm way over my time down here. I'm at the pepper mill. Absolutely amazing down here. They always give us a little time over because I don't know. Hope they like us. <laughs> um, don't forget to go to YouTube 
and uh, subscribe for us. And because without you, nothing happens. Without you, I can't have all these wonderful guests. He flew in to come on the show because he wanted to express his feelings about getting uh, married. And I think it's absolutely amazing. But getting married or having a relationship or just having a friend yes. is all the same, right? Yes. Um, how can anybody reach you if they need some advice from Sure. You? Um, my website is www.c, as in, C as in Charles Reggie, R-E-G-I, Rogers with a D, R-O-D-G-E-R-S, that's crogerogers.com. Of course, my social media is C. Reggie Rogers, Facebook, Instagram, C. Reggie Rogers. C. Reggie Rogers, well, you can see him right there. Absolutely amazing interview, I loved it. I learned an awful lot. Um, I think I'm very fortunate in my life of being married for such a, quite a long time and having a wonderful marriage because that's what I sort of kind of, now all I do is work, <laughs> and I love that too. Yeah, I love everything. And you do such an amazing job. Thank you very You're much. Very Thank welcome. you. Absolutely wonderful. We shall be right back with another guest, maybe next week, maybe tomorrow. You never know what we're going to do. You take care. We'll see you soon. If you enjoy the last show we just did and all the other shows, don't forget to subscribe Vegas Live with Nina on YouTube. We've got plenty more coming up, and our guests are amazing. So don't forget to subscribe. We'll be right back. Vegas Live with Ninon.